Hi, have you wondered if there is one solution to many problems? Well, I don't know about life, but in mathematics there is. There is one solution to many problems in mathematics and that solution is Vedic mathematics or high speed mathematics. What is this Vedic mathematics? Vedic mathematics is nothing but a bunch of techniques using which one can do calculations really really fast. And these techniques are a lot more faster than our conventional ways of doing calculations. And why one solution? One solution because the formula in Vedic mathematics can be used for multiplication, the same formula can be used for division, the same formula for squaring and the same one for square root. So if you remember one formula in Vedic mathematics, it can be applied to different different calculations. The result is we just have to remember very few formulae, just 16 simple formulae using which anyone can do calculations really fast. And what kind of calculations? Let us just imagine uh, a 6th grader trying to do a 2 digit number multiplication or a 3 digit number squaring or a 4 digit number division. How much time would a 6th grader take to do these 3 calculations? Normally they would take somewhere between 3 to 4 minutes, but these 3 calculations can be done in just less than 1 minute. How? using the techniques in Vedic mathematics. So in this short video, we will just quickly look at a few techniques in Vedic mathematics using which one can do calculations really fast. Okay, so here is the first technique in Vedic mathematics. But before I explain the first technique, I want you to observe these three calculations really carefully. Just look at the first, second and third question. Okay, if you might have observed there is a pattern that repeats in all the three questions. If you haven't seen the pattern, what I would suggest is you pause the video and try to look at the pattern and then you can continue. Okay, so I hope you might have seen the pattern in this, right? So the pattern is the tens place digits are the same and the ones place digits or the units place digits add up to 10 in every example, right? So when we have questions like this, then we can just write the answer as 624 this is 5, 6, 1, 6 and this is 7, 2, 2, 1. Now these are not the answers that I got using a calculator and I am very sure that you can get the answer just by mere observation. So again what I would recommend is you just look at the question and the answer and try to find some relation between the question and the answer. Have you found out? Well. I guess you are right, the 6 we get as 2 multiplied by the next number that is 2 plus 1, same goes over that 7 multiplied by the next number that is 7 plus 1 and in the same way 8 multiplied by 9 and how to get the right answer 6 multiplied by 4 that is 24 and the same goes for the other two examples. So just try to do the same thing in the conventional method you will see that how much time you are really saving. Now this is one technique in Vedic mathematics. Now one might think okay, this technique is very useful when the tens place digits are the same and the units place digits add up to 10. But what if I do not get a question like that, I have to do some other calculation. So this is one of the special techniques in Vedic mathematics. Similar to that, we will look at one more technique. Say if you have to square a number. Uh, say a big two digit number say 93 square or maybe you have to square a three digit number say a 105 square. So how can we do these calculations in less than 5 seconds? So here we have 4 calculations for squaring. As you can see here there is 93 square, 96 square, 105 square and 1012. So how to square these numbers fast? I will just try to write down the answers and maybe you can figure out how I got the answers. I am just writing a minus 7 and a minus 7 here. So this will be my 8649. I have 96 times 96 so I will write a minus 4 times and minus 4. That is my 9216. I have a 105 times 105 so I am writing a plus 5 and plus 5. So that gives me 11025 and I write a plus 12 and a plus 12 and guess the answer. 
you are right, it is 1, 0, 2, 4, 1, 4, 4. I am sure that you might have seen some pattern in this. As you can see in all the numbers, all of them are near to a power of 10. 93 is near to 100. So, I will just write 100 minus what number is 93 or the complement of 93 from 100. So, that is 7. So, I write a minus 7 and minus 7 and I just multiply these 7 and 7, I get 49. 93 minus 7 gives me 86. Same goes over there. 100 minus 96 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 96 minus 4. So, I am just subtracting it crosswise. So, here also 5 times 5 is 25, 105 plus 5 is 110, 1012 plus 12 is 1024. So, here we have 4 multiplication problems. As you can see, all the numbers are near to 100. So, 100 is nothing but a power of 10. So, this technique can be used for numbers which are very close to a power of 10. So, here I have written a few numbers 8, 11, 2, 7, 12, 4, 9 and 9. Maybe you can just make a, uh, a guess why I have chosen these numbers. As you can see, 92 is 8 less than 100, 89 is 11 less than 100. So, it applies for all the calculations. So, now I am going to use another technique in Vedic Mathematics using which anybody can get the answer for all the 4 questions in 5 to 10 seconds. This would be 8, 1, 8, 8, 9, 1, 1, 4, 1, 1, 6, 4, 8, 1, 1, 8, 8, 1. As you can see in the first case, I got this 88 by multiplying 11 times 8. And here I did 89 minus 8 or 92 minus 11. So, I get 81. The same thing goes here. 2 times 7 is 14. 98 minus 7 or 93 minus 2. Same over there and over there. So, now you can see using this technique, anybody would be able to do all these calculations really fast. So, this is another technique in Vedic Mathematics. So, now we have seen two techniques in Vedic Mathematics. Let us just take an example and try to see if it can be solved using the first technique or the second technique. Let us take the example of 95 times 95, which is nothing but 95 square. Let us take uh, 106 times 104. And let us just think, which technique can be used here? So, here 95 and 95. So, if you remember the first technique, the tens place digits are the same and the ones place digits add up to 10. So, we can use that technique over here. So, this would be 9 times the next number, 9 times 10, which is 90. 5 times 5 is 25. So, using that technique, we can get the answer like this. Or we can also apply the second technique where we write a minus 5, a minus 5 because 100 minus 95 is 5. So, 5 times 5 is again 25, 95 minus 5 is 90. So, we can solve this question using both the techniques. Same goes for the second example. Here I can write either plus 6 and plus 4 and get 6 times 4 is 24 and 106 plus 4 is 110 or we can also solve this as 6 plus 4 is 10. So, I just multiply 6 and 4, I get 24. 10 multiplied by the next number that is 11. So, 10 multiplied by 11 is 110. So, as we can see these two examples can be solved using both the techniques and both these techniques are special techniques. That is, it can be used only in the case of a certain type of numbers. So, in Vedic Mathematics, we have many such special techniques and there is a general technique using which we can solve any multiplication problem. So, this is a very unique feature in Vedic Mathematics where we have some set of special techniques which can be used for multiplication, division, squaring, square root, cubing, etc. And we have a general method which can also be used for doing the calculation. So, what is the advantage in this? It is easy, it is fun, it is time saving. It kills the fear for numbers. It is a perfect aid to crack any competitive exam. I come across many people who say that they are really scared of maths, but only until they learn Vedic mathematics. Once they learn Vedic mathematics, that fear for mathematics is gone. Not just that, they start loving mathematics. So, do you want to learn Vedic mathematics?